Okay, Deepa. Today, it is an honor for me to be speaking again after a very long time. Being here with such honorable people is a great moment in my life. I don't know where to begin my speech, and I don't know what people are expecting me to say. But first of all, thank you to God, for whom we are all equal, and thank you to every person who has prayed for my fast recovery and a new life. I cannot believe how much love people have shown me. I have received thousands of good wish cards and gifts from all over the world. Thank you to them all. Thank you to the children whose innocent words encouraged me. And thank you to my elders whose prayers strengthened me. I would also like to th thank all the doctors, nurses, and staff in all my hospitals in Pakistan, the UK, and the UAE government for all their support to strengthen me. I fully support Mr. Ban Ki-moon, the Secretary General for Global Education First Initiative, and the work of UN Special Envoy, Mr. Gordon Brown. They continue to lead and inspire us all to action. Dear sisters and brothers, do remember one thing. Malala Day is not my day. Today is the day of every girl and every boy who has raised their voices for their rights. Thousands of human rights activists and social workers have struggled to achieve their goals of peace, equality, and education. Thousands of people have been killed by terrorists, and millions have been injured. I am just one of them. So here I stand today, one girl among many. I raise up my voice, not so that I can shout, but so that those without a voice can be heard. Those, without, those who have fought for their rights, their right to live in peace, their right to be treated with dignity, their right of equality of opportunity, their right to be educated. Dear friends, on the 9th of October, 2012, the Taliban shot me on the left side of my forehead. They shot my friends too. They thought that that bullet would silence us, but they failed. And out of silence, nothing changed in my life except this. Weakness and hopelessness died. Strength, courage, and power was born. I am the same, Malala. My ambitions are the same, my hopes are the same, and my dreams are the same. Dear friends, I am not against anyone. Neither am I here to speak in terms of revenge against the Taliban or any other terrorist group. I am here to speak for women's rights and girls' education, because they are suffering the most. Even if the Talib sh who shot me stood in front of me and I had a gun in my hand, I would not shoot him. This is the compassion I have learned from Martin Luther King Jr. and Nelson Mandela. This is the philosophy of nonviolence I have inherited from Gandhi and Mother Teresa. And this is the forgiveness I have learned from my mother and father. This is what my soul is telling me to love everyone and be peaceful. Dear sisters and brothers, we realize the importance of light when we see darkness. We realize the importance of our voice when we are silent. In the same way, when we were in Swat, the north of Pakistan, we realized the importance of pens and books when we saw the guns. The wise saying, the pen was mightier than the sword, was true. Dear sisters and brothers, now it's time to speak up. So today, we call upon all the world leaders to change their strategic policies in favor of peace and prosperity. We call upon all governments to ensure free compulsory education for every child all over the world. We call upon all the developed nations to support educational opportunities for every girl in the developing world. We call upon our sisters to be brave, 
to embrace the strength within themselves, to realize their full potential. Because we are all united for the cause of education. And if we want to achieve our goals, then let us empower ourselves with the weapon of knowledge. And let us shield ourselves with unity and togetherness. So let us wage a global struggle against illiteracy, poverty, and injustice, and let us pick up our pens and books. They are our most powerful weapons. One teacher, one child, one pen, and one book can change the world. Education is the only solution. Education first. Thank you. Okay, so that was Deepa. Don't confuse Mark Deepa's course. And this is Rupa. Kapoor, is it possible to remove this? Is it possible to remove this so that we can see hand gestures? We can remove this. Ayat. Remove what? That box. This thing? Yeah. No, so that we can see the hand Yeah, but they want it. They, they want, want that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. They want to hide behind it. Okay. <laughs>